should probably get ourselves a new dinosaur next. And I think we're going for Leoplorodon. Which I may be mispronouncing, but I don't care. Aquatic. Let's go yep, deep again. Huh, deep, aquatic, lol. Um, I need to get some fences. Now maybe we should do a glass wall on this. Because it's just basically a thing, isn't it? Ooh. It's just basically all water. Because then we could just have it be water. Or should we sink it down and have... Maybe we should. If I undo... Um, Ooh, two messages. Poxaurus challenge. Oh, we'll easily have that. We just need 50% happy dinosaurs. And we got a fez hat. Who gets the fez? I thought Senel already had a hat, but I'm gonna get a fez. I'm gonna be teaching people you need to be wearing a fez, otherwise no one will take you seriously. Everyone knows that. Janitor can improve their skills. Okay, still needs to turn the, the old vegetables down. And probably the meat as well. I don't know how many to buy. I think <laughs> it'll come to some kind of balance at some point. For now, I think let's pause and see if we can make a bit of a, an exhibit. it like that. So how many is that? One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Go like that. And then like that. That'll give us like little stairs effectively. And now all of this. Oh no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to undo. We can now make, if we put in some barriers. Oh, I should have done one more. If we do lower all of this. Oh, that's not worked. Oh, I'll tell you what, flatten. There we go. That's fine. Then we can put in a glass wall. Yes, this is working. They're just, well, I mean, they're fully aquatic, aren't they? So maybe we should have it go all the way around. Otherwise, it's just going to be a bit boring. Yeah, I think we're going to just carry on going around. Okay, so I'm just building the Leoplorodon habitat right now. Oh, and the park's about to close, so I just paused it. Um, and I put both of the eggs in the middle here. So this is where it's going to be. You can see that they want an ocean tile photic uh, habitat. But I've been having some problem because I kept, instead of putting the ocean tile, I kept putting water in, which was then ruining my whole design. But um, So I have done this before, but this, is, this time it's going to be perfect. Um, I'm going to just essentially keep flattening out so that we get these stairs going around the whole way like this um, at different levels so eventually we're going to have it's going to go all the way around I'll probably just time lapse this so you don't have to watch it all but it's just going to go all the way around until we've got steps going down um, and then the habitat will be a lower and I'll probably do it for a few different stairs and for the stairs when I want to lower it I'm just making it the same level and then Oh, that's in the wrong place. Uh, just lowering it one, flattening out the new level, and then you can see we've got a new level, which I can then drag out to there. 
and we've got to step down again. So I'm just going to do this around the whole way around the outside, and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so that's down all the way around the outside. Now we should be able to put a glass wall in, and oh, I've just realized I'm, I need to do another little bit. I need to make it a little bit wider, because we want to have two, and then a third one for the wall. But that's not going to be the case on all of them. Oops. So I want it to be like that. So there's three the whole way. So I'm just going to go around again and just make sure that these are all three the whole way around the outside. So almost done. And then I'm going to put a massive glass wall in so that the guests can see the whole like lagoon it's going to be really cool okay done it all the way around the outside now we should be able to put in our glass like this there we go new exhibit so we do need a door, and there's a really cool like water door here, which I would love, um, which is like a scuba diving like submarine door. I think I want to put it here, next to this. So this is like the main side, and then there's this. And then, what else do we need? We need to make the actual habitat itself. So let's make all of this ocean, which basically just makes it like a beach. And then we'll see how much water they need when they've kind of hatched, which they've almost hatched now. So if we play, we can skip the summary, go to the new park day. Here we go, Friday. Let's hatch them out. They probably can't move. <laughs> it's not Photic, right. So we need more depth for Photic. We can do that. I'm just going to have, oh yeah, so I'm going to come here. Is that going to work? Just don't want it to spill over the top. That's what I'm really scared about. But I think we want this all essentially to be water. working yes it's working okay so now we, we just need it to be deeper so we can have some deep water as well so that's all shallow water um, but we want it to be especially around the around this side just becomes harder to see Goodness, now. Okay, deep water. I'm gonna do some in the middle and then we'll just expand it out. I'm really scared that the water is gonna come over the top, essentially. But it shouldn't do. Now they can see it, and how cool is that? Right, let's go there. No! I made a mistake. Please, water, leave. <laughs> Please, water. It's okay. We can do this. Just gonna make the last one go a bit higher. And then we're gonna just redo the last uh, section that we did. 
This is the problem with water. It's really hard to build with. Okay. Still a little bit of water in there. I think it's okay. Okay, the water's draining. I didn't think you'd have such problems. Just like this side. I can't elevate that one. Probably because of the door. Okay, so it's gone from there, so that is good. Whew. I wonder if we can... Good thing is they're happy with it. So I'm, I'm going to just finish the actual like design of it. I'm going to have a bit more over here. Deep water and then there's going to be a deep water section at, on this side that they can view as well. It's the, it's the camera angles that threw me off. I'm going to blame that. <laughs> But yeah, something like that. Oh, it's going to need to be a little bit more deep water here, because that is how they get in. Yeah, that is good. Just need to make sure the water is contained everywhere. And I think it's just... Poxaurus challenge. Oh, we can easily do the happiness one. Okay. I'm slightly concerned about how we're going to do this. I think if we lower this again... I'm not sure we can get rid of it. It's also annoying. Unless we drain it out, like if it goes far enough it might be okay. Like that, yeah, okay, it's fixed, it's fixed. Thank goodness. Ooh, not quite that much. I close that. And we want this to go slightly further out. So we've got two tiles everywhere on every side. Almost done, guys. We've almost done it. It's the most complicated build I've done in this game. Okay. I think that's it. Yes! Yes, it's done! Oh, it's done. And now we can just build path along the whole thing. Oh, look at that. Okay, remove. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. I ended. Terrified now. Anything I do is going to cause water to just leak out. <laughs> no, I think we're fine. Oh, yes. This is great. I'm just going to do path around the whole outside now. I think it should probably go over the top as well. So it should probably be a 5x5. Five five. It carries on. From there. Okay. 
That's a much quicker way to do it. Okay, five by five. Not caring as much about the money at this point as just getting it done quickly. There we go. Look at that. That's awesome. Okay, so what do they want? They need more, ro they need more rocks suitable to Photic. And it's definitely Photic, yeah. So, what pumice, lava rock. Let's have some lava rock in here. That's interesting. Um, there we've got pumice rock. And uh, periodite? It's like erudite. Erudite. How do you say that? <laughs> anyway, is enough of it. Yes, any more bushes. Bushes, bushes. Bulbous coral. 100%. Oh no, it does stick out the top a bit. I find that a bit weird when they come out the top. I want to avoid using the bulbous coral. But we've got blue coral. Goodness, they're loud, aren't they? They're all terrors. And we've got tube coral. So we've got like normal coral and then like the tube coral. Which looks, all looks very nice. Big ones have got to go at the bottom. The little ones can go at the top. But the big ones need to be at the bottom. Otherwise, I just think it looks weird when they like stick out the top. You know? Need some little ones on the bottom there. And then some other coral. And then we probably need some privacy tiles as well. Assuming they... Oh, look at them! Walking with a massive helmet on. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. Hold on, let's just make sure the habitat's good and then we go have a look at them. Need more trees. Um, giant kelp. Oh my goodness, that is huge. Look, that's like right out of the water still. It's ridiculous. Have to have a habitat that's so deep that we use the giant kelp. We can use some of this weed though. I think we might need some coral on here. I want some little ones. Where are the little ones gone? Okay. Um, and sea flowers, which are adorable. I love these. That one is kind of... That one's enough poking out the top that it's fine, though. That was, like, realistically could survive. Let's have a look at these. Ethel. Who names a Leoplorodon Ethel? <laughs> oh, they eat meat, yes. We need to get our meat feeders in, don't we? Thinking about it, we probably need more veg feeders for for these guys over here. They've not really got very much. They've only got one feeder, haven't they? Between all of them. So let's put one there, one there. That's probably good enough, actually. Have a couple. Have a couple. Um, and then a ring feeder for carnivorous ones. Let's have that at the front. How cool is that though? Go down and have a look. There's a lot of glare, but we can kind of see. Look at that. A little door. Can we jump in? No. I think we can jump if we do a run up. Oh yeah! What? Oh! 
Let's quick save. <laughs> Just in case. Drop it in, in the tank. Yeah. Look at them go, though. They're very cool. So that's that's the Leoplorodons anyway. I think we need to put some street lights back in too. Because we've done a whole stretch of land that looks a bit weird now. Why are they so aggressive? I think it's just their nature, isn't it? Velociraptors, if Velociraptors weren't just constantly trying to get out, would they be Velociraptors? Like, they're literally super happy. Other than privacy, so we can give them a bit more privacy, but... Okay, we're gonna have to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Some new ones. There. You should name your habitats as well because now I don't know which one it is. So this is Velociraptors. I think I spelled that right. This is Stegosaurus. Stego and Try. I don't think it'll fit all of it in. And this is Yo. Here we go. How would you spell that? <laughs> what are they called again? L-I-O Pluridon. Could have been... Yeah, I think that's right. Okay. So someone's sick. Oh, and we found them straight away. It's Opal. Anyone else sick? You sick too? No? Okay, well we'll give an Opal some medicine. Hopefully she'll be okay. She can pull through. We're in the middle of some very important, like, light placing. They don't know what it takes to run a park. Good. She's going to recover. Oh, we need some donation boxes. Let's put them in. Can't forget to have those. You can see how the little gold coin above the guest head like reminds you? Because I completely forgotten, but like seeing all these, I was like, oh, we're not getting money for that. So now they can go give us their money. An outhouse as well. Is that better than the one we've got? Oh, it's a different outhouse. It's slightly less unappealing to look at. I quite like these. What do these look like? Yeah, I mean, I think that looks kind of better, if I'm honest. So, I might just leave that. <laughs> Happy with them as they are. Look at that, though. It's so beautiful. I love the water, like, glistens in the moonlight. Like, this game is really pretty. I'm a big fan. I'm a windmill, you could say. Our oh, staff. Oh my goodness, you're gonna be level a million, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. You just walk around. Do your thing now. You're really good at personality, whatever that one is. Let's just upgrade our staff a little bit. What are you... Oh, yeah, be better at everything, please. Just be better at personality. Clean out the toilets. That's what we want. 
That's what we need from our staff. A right, can-do attitude. Attitude. I don't know why I said that so American the first time. Can-do attitude. That's my voice. Right. <laughs> okay. Do we want some privacy? That's the last thing I suppose we need to check on these guys. Can I- can you even see them? I don't know where they are. Maybe they'll move- oh, there you go. Yeah, they just blend in very well. They're not very private. It's not very private, which is very true. They would like some more privacy. So I'm just gonna put in some. Cause you know, seaweed's not the nicest thing to look at, but... It is kind of what they need. We're just gonna put some along, just like dot it around. I'm not gonna do any like massive clumps of it. Cause hopefully this means that like wherever they are, they can have access to some. And I do want the exhibit to stay kind of open. I don't actually seem to have a problem with it. Like they're, they're maybe a bit more confident. Honestly, if I were really a Pleurodon, I would be pretty confident because who's gonna mess with you? Be like, yeah, come, come look, look through the glass. Probably good. Happy with them. And we can move on to our next exhibit.